Sado, the way of tea. A tradition that perfectly expresses the Japanese culture of hospitality. The history of Sado begins in the 15th century. Great tea masters like Sen no Rikyu refined and developed the art's focus on hospitality and the creative interactions between those serving and drinking tea. Over the centuries, different schools and traditions of tea arose. Today, over 1.3 million regularly practice this art. In Sado, every action is performed in a specific way, although details differ between schools. Mastering this art takes much time and constant practice. Students learn the precise way to rise from the floor to a standing position and to never tread directly on any threshold. Before use, the bowl is carefully wiped with a special cloth. Even the way of folding this cloth follows a set procedure. The tea used is matcha, powdered green tea leaves. When mixing the tea and hot water, the right hand holds the bamboo whisk, while the left grips the tea bowl. This action must be performed with the whole arm, not just the wrist. To serve the tea, the host first rotates the bowl so its front side faces the guest. The guest then rotates the bowl again to avoid drinking from the front side. Precise rules govern everything from how to hold the implements to where to place each item. The host decorates the tea room with a flower arrangement representing the season. Only dedicated, repeated practice brings understanding of the way of tea. Through practice, one realizes the four key principles of tea. Harmony in the tea room. Respect for each other and all existence. The way of tea isn't something you can do by yourself. It's all about interacting with other people. The important thing is to create a space where we can be open and considerate with each other. The way of tea requires purity in all things. The purpose of all our preparations and procedures is to eliminate anything that might disturb the mind. Everything we do has this goal, to calm the spirit and create a peaceful atmosphere. Through harmony, respect and purity, guests arrive at the fourth key principle, the state of tranquility. It appeals to all the senses. The way of tea is so wonderful in the way it skillfully forges close bonds between everyone taking part. Calming the mind, refining the spirit of hospitality, 
For over 400 years, this has been the appeal of the way of tea.